Storm sirens sounding across Kansas as the state prepares for severe weather season. The Wichita area undergoing a huge storm siren upgrade this week, just in time for Severe Weather Awareness Week. And the first test of the county storm sirens went off without a hitch. Cake Jared Sorello here with details on the big differences you will notice this storm season. Jared. That's right, Sue. A couple of years ago, the National Weather Service changed its warning structure. It used to warn an entire county, even though a storm or a tornado might only be affecting a small corner. Those days are now long gone, and now the county's siren system is also catching up to the technology. We're converting from World War II level technology into the 21st century by taking our outdoor warning devices digital. At this computer, Sedgwick County's tornado siren system can be activated with the push of just a few buttons. We'll actually be able to target the warning to that area that is specifically at risk from a tornado. So if the storm is affecting Derby or Hayesville, you won't hear the sirens in Andale and Cowich. Over the years, sociologists have told us, in terms of warnings, they've told both us and the National Weather Service, the more specific that we can be in terms of warnings, the, the more likely people are to take action designed to save their lives and that of their family and loved ones. So this is an evolution in that accuracy of warning. You're probably familiar with the old yellow rotating sirens that have been in place for many years in Sedgwick County. But today, the crews were installing a new siren in downtown Wichita. All of the new sirens expected to be installed by the end of the month. And the upgrade will actually result in fewer sirens across the county. We're taking some of those out because they're already covered by devices that have a larger effective area for warning. So we're making our system efficient by removing some of these small ones. I think if they were to fix them to where they were louder, I think it would be easier. Like I said, I have one across the street from my house and it only works sometimes. And when it does work, you really don't even hear it. Now, by the way, all of this was budgeted for about $1.25 million, but Duncan says today the project actually came in under bid quite a bit. That saved taxpayers about a quarter of a million dollars. Well, you may have noticed that the old yellow tornado sirens in Sedgwick County are being upgraded. As it happens, this is also Severe Weather Awareness Week across the state. Sedgwick County has been working to upgrade its storm siren system for several years. Cakes Jared Sorello says the finishing touches are being put in place to help you better protect your family. Every Monday, we've all heard it, those tornado sirens testing at noon. It used to be, however, if one of these sirens sounded, every one in the county was turned on, but those days are no longer. We believe that that overwarning contributes to complacency because there are occurrences where a person hears the outdoor warning device, yet they're not directly at threat from the tornado. Several years ago, the National Weather Service began issuing polygon warnings. Instead of warning an entire county, only the area affected would go into the warning. But Sedgwick County's tornado siren system did not mesh with that. Now we're at the stage where they can almost warn on a neighborhood or area basis. So what we're finally doing is our outdoor warning device technology is catching up with the accuracy of the weather service warning capability. At Pine and Broadway near downtown Wichita on Tuesday, one of the 27 brand new sirens was being installed. Right now, there are 153 tornado sirens in Sedgwick County, but Duncan is working actually to remove some of the older sirens that aren't efficient. We're taking some of those out because they're already covered by devices that have a larger effective area for warning. So we're making our system efficient by removing some of these small ones. Something that drives emergency management personnel crazy is when you don't actually heed the warning when the sirens do go off. So this new system, they hope, when you do hear the siren, you will take heed and know there's a real danger. In Northwest Wichita, Jared Sorello, Cake News. And digging deeper now, Sedgwick County taxpayers saved about a quarter of a million dollars on the project. It was budgeted for $1.25 million, but Duncan says several companies put in aggressive bids. The total cost of the job came in at just under a million dollars.